Hi guys, it's Jenny and today we'll be going through some stuff that I bought from Tokyo Hands. I did a video last week introducing the experience at Tokyo Hands. This week I'm going to be going through a bunch of stuff. So the first product that you see are face masks. I bought like five packs because I just thought that they were really fun. There's something attractive me about it. I guess it's like the artwork and the idea of putting something on and it's just a little bit more than a face mask. There is like a novelty aspect to it. So you got a Japanese girl, green tea flavoured. I used to watch this cartoon when I was younger. If anyone knows the name of these, this character in particular, do let me know down below. I have no idea. Another cartoon that I used to watch are Sailor Moon. I bought the main character Sailor Moon, the one with pink hair, and the cat as well. So I'm really excited to try these out, and when I do try them out, I'll put them on my Instagram so you can see what they look like there. <laughs> now, truly moving on to all the stationary stuff. It's the best of stationery in 2017. So it introduces the new stationery that is out and how people use them. At the back it's actually got a few lists of stationery shops. It looks like there is a community of stationery people. To be honest, I don't actually know how to read Japanese. I'm here for the images. But if I do need to read it, Google Translate it. Next. Stuff we're gonna go be going through are stickers. I love stickers. Stickers have always been something that I'm really passionate about. Sticker addict, especially when I was like really young. I know I still have a box full of stickers. I thought these ones were really really cute. They're like in a shape of a jar. I love the illustrations of them. So the first one is this gem looking one. Just the choice of colours. I just think it's really cute. And the second one are these, I think it's a pub. It's got like a really cute face to them. Again, it's just watercolour illustrations which I love. This one has neon and holographic sticker seals. I love this because it's got the uh, neon coloured food shape. Uh, my favourite one I think is the egg actually. No wait, it's the pizza. It's called B-Side Label Water UV Ray Protect Protected Stickers. So I take it they go through wind and storm. And I like to put stickers on my suitcase. I came across these and I thought that they were really, really cute. You've got a sushi version and a toast version. So what are they? They are page markers. So you can actually like write down what subject or what it is and then you just put them on your pages. Use it for like, you know, calendars? Especially on billet journals where there isn't any tabs to show where the month starts. And I just thought these will be quite good for it. Anyway, I think it's Bandy, Bandai, I don't know. They are the cat sticker stills. I was like in awe of them. Uh, if you saw the stationary experience video from Tokyo Hands, yeah, I was pretty excited about these. There are different designs for the head, the body, and the bottom half of the body, and you basically get to change and switch around the designs to whichever one you prefer. Maybe I've been saying it wrong. You've been saying Tokyo. Tokyo. I keep on saying Tokyo hands. I think it's Tokyo. 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 Sorry, I've got issues with pronunciation. Anyway, washi tapes. <laughs> I've got one that has baguettes. I just think this is absolutely adorable. There's like croissants, baguettes, toast, and buns. I've got an obsession with things that looks like a ruler on a washi tape if you want to measure something. And generally, aesthetically, it is very pretty. <coughs> Got a bit too excited. So these are little objects of closing things. This roll has like a binder clip and just different variations of clips illustrated on here. The next one I got are these file like folder seals. So there's like a couple of designs of those type of seals in this. This one has a variation of different type of pins, hooks, and things like that. So if I wanted to put a picture or an attachment, 
attachment in my journal but I don't want to actually put the actual pin I can stick one of these down and love them love these I just love these this roll has a different variation of labels so you can actually like rip the one that you want and then you can write you know like a label style washi tape final one is a roll of swatches there's just like different uh, patterns and it's foiled i just think that they were really cute i end up buying this travel washi tape holder or sticker holder this is just foam don't need that it's kind of like a wallet and it's got like a binder over here you open it it's got the 10 pocket wallets They've got some inserts inside them and it's like a plastic insert where you can actually put your stickers or, you know, use the washi tape and just go around them. It's, it's less bulky. And you've got a sip wallet as well. So say if you've already got some previous washi tape that is already in like packets or you've got something small like this, you can put it in. Or you can also put like proper sticker sheets like you know, if you say you wanted to take this, then you can actually just slip it in. I just thought it was very handy. I will be taking it in my next travels. I can't wait to actually use this. So I had to switch the lights on because it was getting a bit dark. The next section is mechanical pencils. And these are the Kurutoga. Is that how you say it? I've heard really good things about these actually. This one is in the 0.3 millimeters. It's got like eggs, a salt and pepper shape, and it's got a squid. Is it a squid? I can't think of what else it could be. And the next one I bought is in the Totoro artwork, but this one is in the 0.5 millimeters because I've never actually tried a 0.3 millimeter mechanical pencil, so I just want to give this a go. And this one is just purely for the artwork and just testing the pencil out. In one of my previous stationery hauls, I tried out the Delgard and I absolutely loved it. It's very reliable, so I couldn't resist but try the latest one. So this one is the Delgard Type ER, and it actually turns around, so when you're writing on it it just switches 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 so i thought i'd give this a go i have bought it in a 0.5 millimeter because that is what i'm used to when i'm writing but who knows i might change to a 0.3 millimeter one in future and then the fourth mechanical pencil that i bought is this monograph zero one and it's a 0.3 millimeters but I just like the look of it. It's by Tombow, so it's got that really classic look to it, and it's got a metal grip at the bottom. It's got a rubber on the top. I might do, I might do a video to compare these. So if that's something that will be helpful to you, then let me know. Why do you need so many pencils? I actually like to test them and because I'll be drawing more, I do enjoy using mechanical pencils. Um, it avoids the sharpening when I'm traveling. And yeah, new product, I just want to try it. Sure, moving on. This is something that I had when I was very young as well. 20 colors, 20 colors in a stick. So there are like LEDs and then you just like change, change up the color that you want. I just thought that they would be good for traveling as well because I don't want to be bringing like stacks of pencils so I thought this might be a nice solution especially in my habit tracker I've been trying to block out colors it's got a silver and gold lead and it's even got a lid so it doesn't break the lead I hate it when the lead goes all over my pencil case it's one of my pet hates so hopefully this will be the solution can't wait to give this a go I've been looking for a 15 centimeter ruler that has a grid one this one is by Sakura and it is the, I don't know, I've never heard of the brand before because each of these squares are 0.5. It's just very useful when you're like journaling and you want to measure out the lines. The amount of magnets that, magnets that Tokyo hands have, it was unreal, like the selection just goes on. I bought these ones that look like a jean button. I couldn't resist but buying this like toast from the butter on top, I mean French toast, I mean isn't that just so adorable? And then we move on to pens now. 
Okay, so the Sarasa pens. These are gel rollables. They've got the retractable mechanism and it's got like the clip grip at the bottom of the barrel. Uh, these right in metallic. It came in a set actually. I've been using the Sarasa and I think it's actually really, it's really smooth. The colors are really, really pretty. I will be doing a swatch of this. Um, on the blog so anything that you see today I will be putting all the information on the blog I'll put the link in the comments down below frictions if you have never heard of frictions before they are erasable ink pens they've got like a heat sensitive particle in it if you write in blue or whatever you can use the end of it and you can rub it out but this one is the friction multi pen it's again it's got a clip and i've got the colors black blue and red i think there's like a craze of sailor moon at the moment it was their 25th anniversary last year let's face it we have to talk about the mild liner highlighters but as soon as I went to Japan um, because I've heard so many good things about them I had to give them a go they are also double ended uh, felt tip markers so you've got one felt tip end and then the other one's like a highlighter end but the colours on these are mild so they're not like the neon in your face typical pink, yellow, green sharp colors they're a bit more easier to the eye but they still highlight what you need to highlight these come in a pack or you can buy them individually i've actually got doubles in here because i didn't realize i've already had some in the pack i got a bit confused speaking of highlighters these friction highlighters are erasable as well so they've got like a mild tone to them still it comes in a pack of six I think the colours are beautiful. I just thought this is quite quite different, quite different, so I need to give it a go. Then the next set of markers, I've actually bought these because you can actually write on photos with these. And I just thought the colours were very, very pretty. With all of these things, like I might do like a monthly favourites and yeah, if if they are really decent and good. I will mention them in there. Whiteboard markers. I know you can get them in the UK as well, but these pack were very cheap. I don't actually remember how much, but after getting the new board, I've been using this thing like crazy. And I've actually not seen these colours before. I think they were very cute, like very, very sweet, pretty uh, pigments. The final section of our haul, which are the pencil cases, there are so many innovative options out there. The first one I like to talk about is the Del D. This pencil case has been very, very useful. They had like all sorts of patterns on them. I prefer like the plainer colours and spotted. I just I just love spots. It's got a sip and your pencils are placed vertically and there's like side tabs on either end and you just push that down and then it becomes a pencil pot. It's got a hard base so it will sit nicely on your desk and inside there's also like a side pocket there. Because of the side pouch is not very obvious you do need to dive into it to get into the side pouch. I absolutely love this pencil case especially when I'm traveling I find it so useful. It fits so much like you don't actually realize it doesn't look it but it actually fits a lot inside. So the next pencil case that I bought because I, I just love trying out new products this one is by Kokuya. It opens up like this uh, it's got two sips inside for convenience and it's got like a little side pouch over here again. So the traditional pencil cases they're like on the side and then you have to like find your pencils. But I feel that like this one does not fit as many pens and pencils as the Del D one. Okay and the third pencil case I bought is this stand pen pencil case. It's made out of like this silicone material. I just feel like it's a lot more modern. I don't know, there's like a, the look. I really like the look and the shape, the oval shape about it. So you open it like this and it's got like a rubber band. So you can put your erasers inside there so you don't need to go all the way in. How it works, it's got like a molded bottom. It stands if you push this up. It becomes a very secure type of a stand on your desk. The material's nice and the colour is gorgeous. Which one's your favourite? 
Um, at the moment, my favorite, I've not actually used this one properly yet. Um, I will be moving on to this later. But at the moment, it is going to be the Dell D one. The last thing I just want to quickly show is this box, if you open it. It's actually like a little storage box. You can put, you know, your pens inside. How cool is that, right? I think it was absolutely amazing when I first saw it. You saw the bigger version in my shopping review, but this is actually the small version. They've got different variations of it as well. They come in like red, blue, and this craft paper. You can paint it. And that's why I chose this colour in case I do want to decorate it in the future. You've got like a small space and you don't want to see all of this clutter. It hides it all. Got like a uh, magnet. Can you see it sticks? And then on the top over here it's also got a magnet. So that's how everything is secured in there. I have tried to use this as a pencil case at one point. But I noticed that if it does turn around like this some of the things might have a chance of getting messed up but majority of the times it's okay in terms of pencil case it was a little bit too bulky i mean it's a no-brainer really is it <laughs> and i just thought it was pretty nifty and let me know your favorite item from today's haul i'll be so interested what's your favorite item huh you like the polka dot pencil case and they like the, the the rabbit. No, the the cat wash. The cat one can change the outfit. And the sticker book. And the sticker book. Wow. Until next time, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And to not miss a video, make sure you hit that subscribe and that bell button. See you next week. Bye.